So the first thing we did, we got in here, we cracked all the injector lines, and there's a bleeder there. And we, you can see all the diesel fuel on that side. And the tank was dry, so we filled her up, and well, we got diesel fuel running out of here now. So we're hoping to get it to run in here. Yeah, so we're hoping it runs. We got all the fuel blood out here. We're going to crank her over some more here, see what happens. Battery's about dead. We're probably going to have to put the jumper cables on it. Yeah, I figured, let's get some jumper cables on it. We'll be right back here. Yeah, you got a bigger, bigger battery for this thing. They got a Optima red top in here. While we're waiting here, I've been looking this thing over. She got over, I don't know if you can see it in there, 5,102 hours on her. Looks like it was taken care of some. We got decent rubber. We got to do a lot of brake work on it. The brake cables broke. That left brake over there is, uh, well, the right brake, it's, uh, it's hanging up in reverse, the guy says, so we don't know what that's going to entail soon. But right now, we got a nice seat. We got a heater up there. Hopefully that guy works with the seat. Look at that's all the guy fella needs. I mean, what else do you want? So we're gonna, when we're waiting for this battery to charge up a little bit, we're gonna take a peek at this alternator. The fella says it's not charging, so we're gonna see what's going on here. Maybe we can get a head start on it. Maybe it's just a bad connection, I hope. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is the old multimeter here. So we at least got voltage there. this thing I don't know what they got going on there I assume they either had a jump start port there or the main kill someone came along and said well that's a, another video we'll get I'm fixing her up here once we get this thing home now I'm gonna go on the other side here investigate these wires we'll see on the other side well fellas let's get you up in here looks like you got a newer starter on it as you see up there, see that red wire? She ain't got much life left in it. It's about broken half. Now I got it wiggled around here. Let's get you 
back over your alternator. So fellas, after wiggling that wire, making a better connection over there, I will replace it. We're gonna do that connection when we get it home. But, already, I don't know if you can see that. You got, you got voltage there now. So I'm hoping that's the reason why you said it ain't charging. Fingers crossed we don't have to buy a regulator or an alternator. I'm on a tight budget. Alright, hold on. Go ahead. Sounds like it has even compression, so that's good. It usually starts right up. Go ahead. Just have a hand. All right, you ready? All right. Come on, yeah. baby. Go ahead. Ready? Yep. Yeah, it's fine. All right, you ready? Okay, fellas, I got updates. No, it's cold out here. We've been cranking on this on this thing. I'm getting worried. I don't want to wash the cylinders down and ruin the rings. Really don't want to ether it. I know it's probably superstition, but I listen to the old farmers, and they tell me once you ether an old diesel, you're always going to ether it. So we're not. I'm, I'm avoiding that. I'm just not going to do it. I want to hear this thing run. So I found the block heater we plugged in. It's been plugged in, but I'm looking at it. And here, you get in there. It's not plugged in. Now, I don't know why. If it got bumped, I should get in there and own that out. But I'm not. I'm going to do the wrong thing and just plug it in. Because, for one, I don't have a new one. So we're just going to go plug it in. I'm going to get my kid in the car and get her war get it warmed up. Because it's 10 degrees out. Everybody's cold. It's diesel cold. So we're going to get her in there. Plug it in, let that battery charge up for 15, 20 minutes, and maybe take Landon for a ride. Get him something warm at the gas station. And we'll be back. Let me get her plugged in there. It's kind of hard with one handed here. I'm gonna have to set you down for a second. I'll be right back. All right, get in there. There we are. I'm just assuming it must have got tugged on and come loose. So he's in there now. I'm gonna plug her in, and we'll be back here shortly and see if she starts. Are you ready? Go ahead. In here, all right, go for it. There we go.
Good morning, here we are today. Here's the new purchase I made, a Ford 340B backhoe. We'll drink her up a little bit. She needs some work. We got her running yesterday. Hopefully she cranks today. It's a blistering 10 degrees out here today. I got my son Landon here. We're gonna get it loaded, huh? We were gonna help. We were going to uh, tow it home with our power stroke and our trailer, but a little too heavy for our machine. So we hired a guy to come get it and he'll be here shortly. So we're gonna do a little tinkering on it and get it ready to go. All right, we got her loaded up and we're making our way home here. Well, good afternoon, fellas. We got the hoe home. She really is a slapped out hoe, let me tell you. She got a lot of work we gotta do on her. But a fella broke down and bought a new battery. They got an Optima in there, but it just don't have the reserve capacity a fella needs to get this thing started in this weather here. So I broke down, got the right battery. The Optima will go another project I have. You guys will be seeing soon if it's still good. It should be. So. Well, we're going to get that in there and maybe fix that alternator, that wire on there, and get her charging and get her running so we can move her around. we got a lot of work to do on this thing. There'll be more videos to come. we got a hydraulic leak on the steering. She's going to need some tie rod ends. She's all slapped out. Kingpins. They got play in them. That's great. Maybe we'll just shove some grease in those. Or maybe we'll put a bushing in. I fella don't know yet. We got to get the injector pump leak sealed up first. That's going to be in part two. We're going to try to fix on that ourselves. Or we'll just have to break down and buy a new one if I jazz it up. We got some brake work to do on it. And the brake sticking on this side. Looks like it might have some gear oil leakage. Well, it's hydraulic in this one. I'm waiting on that repair manual to come in from the Eagle Bay. So, help. Get her in there. There's that Optima. Reconditioned. It'll be good for our other project here. So we're going to dig in there, get that swapped out, and see if we can get this thing fired up. It's a whole day here. Luckily, we got this home the other day. We paid that guy to come get it. If we got her jump started up there, and we made the trip. My battery died. The boys, they're out sled riding. They might be coming up here to do some sled riding. It's cold out. I got a fire for them going on down there. But they want to come up and see what I'm doing here. So let me get some wrenches and we'll get this battery out here. The reason I bought this thing, fella just couldn't bring himself to spend 20 Five to twenty-eight thousand a subcompact. I wanted to sign my name on it, but just couldn't do it. I needed a, a decent sized one because I wanted to build some retaining walls, and those big uh, pre-made blocks and they weigh a ton. And most of the small subcompacts they can't pick up uh, barely two thousand pounds. And this thing, I got this thing for four grand. And it runs. I got it running. We made the deal. I don't think I did too bad. Fella, bleep bloop below if you think it's too too much money. But I think I did pretty good. And it's paid for. I don't have a payment. My payments are going to be in a few parts I have to put in. Yeah, so what if it blows a hose? I have to replace hoses if we go. I might get away without it. When they go, hey, just calm down. I'm just telling you, when they go, I'll replace them. I ain't going to go crazy on here and put all new parts on everything. This is the bare necessities to get a good, stout, solid tractor here. After, I got, you know, I felt like I got three kids to feed. I got a mortgage. I'm starting out here. So. I know the right thing to do is just to replace everything and rebuild it, but that's not going to happen. Not right now. Grab some wrenches and we'll get this this Optima yanked out of here.
Now, I wish I could get this running to lift this bucket up. I should have done it when I parked it here. I wasn't thinking. Now I got to lift this new battery. It's heavy. It weighs about 85 pounds up over this thing. It's all right. I'll slide right down in there. It'll be all right. Let's see if you can make sure you guys can see all right in there. Maybe we'll put you over here so you can see through the crack here, huh? I'll lower you down a little bit, maybe. I guess you can see what I'm doing a little bit in there. Do you really ever get a good battery on a used piece of equipment you buy? I have yet. I don't know if any of you guys have. It has never happened to me. I hear the, the little rug rats making their way up here. Let's go see what these kids are up to here. You guys going sled riding? Go ahead. I got you on film real quick. Hurry up. You'll go down there and it'll stop right there. It levels out. You'll be all right down there. It'll stop. You don't need me to. You're fine. It gets level. Push us.
There's my son's Oliver in the background. Come on guys, hurry up. <laughs> Let me get this battery and I'll go down with you, okay? down the garage I didn't realize this guy put side post on here go get the battery terminal I'm gonna say. I don't, I don't maybe I'll just run adapters we'll see for now yeah I didn't feel like going down and get a 5 16 wrench so I'm just using the good old trusty 12 inch crescent wrench there, way overkill, perfect. Who's gonna think they needed a 5 16 wrench to work on an industrial backhoe? Get this thing out of here. Battery tray out. It's just a mess. We're gonna have to get some bigger battery cables in this thing, I think. Hold on. Wow, look how far you went. Wow, get up there and I'll record you again. This thing's been sitting with a hood up and all kinds of pine noodles in here. I got a, some foam I'm going to cut out and put under the bed. Vibrate a hole in it. What, buddy? Can you what? Find out. Go ahead. Coming, hold on. Go ahead. Wow. Oh, wipe out. Uh huh. Go ahead. Let me get this batter in. I'll come. I'll go down with you. Yes. Now, let me get this battery tray cleaned. I'll be right back. All right, we got that battery box cleaned out as good as it's going to be until we get her down to the garage with the blow gun. 
I made a piece of foam to put in there, made it a little long to block the heat from the, the radiator in the summertime. I just thought I'd push it. Smash down, we'll get this big battery in. You ought to see this battery here, we'll take you over. I gotta lift it in there now. There it is. Superstar! Now this thing don't have a go handle on it. I don't know. Old Derek from Vice Grip Garage always says it has a go handle, but they don't. That's nice. Speaking of which, I wonder what he's doing there. I wonder what he, that fellow's doing today out there. This is going to be fun getting her up here. Right. We are able to get the thumb out. Of course, the hood shuts. That son of a gun. there. Now get our makeshift hood prop back up. Yes, buddy.
All right, fellas, we got her temporarily hooked up here for now until I get some new battery terminals for the old girl. Well, I'm going to see if she cranks here, and then we're going to we're losing daylight. And I want to go play with my kids for a while. To me, the family's most important, so I'm going to get a few hours out of the weekend. I'm busy plowing snow right now. I'm going to have some fun with my kids tonight. This thing can sit here. So don't worry about the best tool in the world there, holding that ground on with an adapter, 6,000. Let's see if she cranks there. There they are having fun here. What do you want? I'm filming. Hold on. We're going to see if this thing starts here, okay? Then I'm going to come play with you. Get you a shot at the exhaust here. Let me turn the diesel on. Hello. Say hi out there. This thing don't have glow plugs, but it's supposed to have an intake heater. I don't know how it works. We're going to find out here. Oh, it's starting it. Maybe. I'm going to glow it here for a second. Stand back. You ready? Hello! Oh, don't do that. No, we're gonna let it glow a little bit here. I'm not glow, but it's cold out. Hello. 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 Oh, I gotta wiggle the battery terminal. Why did mommy go that way? Well, he went to that Dollar General. Oh, yeah. I didn't know the slide button was when it's open. Yeah, you better, huh? Tighten up that adapter. I'll be right back. Let me get the tool. All right. See, this lock key intake heater works. I read the instructions. You got to hold the key here. The first spring and the second spring. I think that's our problem here. There you go. Five seconds. Ready? All right, this is going to be our last attempt here. I think I got to figure it out here. Let's try one more time here. Oh. We got to get better terminals on this thing. wants to go.
Go ahead, bring it up so your brother can run.
to fly them again. Come on, Hunter, let's go down. Really? Are you just gonna play your own? No, come on, I wanna get you that film, let's go. Daddy, Daddy can you go to the first one and down with me one more time? Yes, Hunter's next. I don't know what the hell you know. What if I go in the front and you go in the back? No. Why? It won't work? Oh. Okay. Can I go in the back? No. Chris, it's just me and Yeah, just me and Hunter right now. Well, as you see, it's hard to get stuff done, but family time's important, and I have a good time. Well, fellas, as you heard, new battery works. 
it's a blistering uh, 17 degrees out. She fired up. We let her warm up. Here goes Hunter. Go Hunter, go! <laughs> but yep, there it is. There's the hoe. This is about it for part one of the revival. Stay tuned for part two as we do some maintenance. We gotta change the oil, we're gonna flush it out, fix the alternator wire, get the oil pressure light on. It got oil pressure, I think the switch is bad. Brakes, e brake, button up the battery. We gotta flush out the hydraulic, that's full of water. Now the back hoe. You got a sticky valve. Anybody knows anything about these hoes, let me know. Like and subscribe.